Hello, seasons of change here, tripping over rocks in the ground. Um, when YouTube did their wonderful little upgrade, they took all our videos that we had done so far about our little homestead and hooked them to my private family account. So I'm going to do a video bringing people up to date who follow my blog. <laughs> and if you can hear, hold on. There's chaos for those who remember the chicks. And then we have um, the rest of them. They're following me around. They apparently think they're getting scratched, which they don't get until nighttime because it helps them with um, body heat and so forth. <coughs> You'll have to excuse my cough. And they will follow me around, by the way. But once they realize they're not going to get something, sometimes they go away. But I hear somebody, I think, in the nest. Um, as I started to say, excuse my cough, I have a cold, or had a cold, and the cough never leaves until um, spring. And somebody's in there. This is, while I'm here, surrounded by my little fan club. This is a coop. This is how far we've gotten so far. Um, some may remember we made it a full size, so when we sell this property, because we don't plan on staying here, it can be used as a shed or a child's playhouse or whatever they want to use it for. Same reason why we use dog kennel um, fencing for the run. They're, as you can tell, a free range pasture. Do not attack the strap, please. Um, they're still following me. I'm afraid I'm going to kick one. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I forgot where I was. Anyhow, we'll just jump ahead. This is the inside. It's hard to see because, sorry, the sun comes in through the door and it's a mess. It's on my job list today is to clean out the coop. And they'll freak out again like they did last time because for some reason they just don't care to have a clean coop. But this Smell is getting a bit much. Anyhow, uh, we have a roosting hole there. Three nesting boxes there. If I had to redo it, I'd do four for ten chickens because sometimes I find one in each box or two or three in one box. Can I help you ladies? Yeah? No, you're not getting anything. We are getting ready to hook up a solar panel to hopefully work this door through the winter. And supposedly, I haven't tried it yet. You guys are noisy. Um, if the temperature is below 20 degrees, it doesn't open. We'll see. Are you comfy? Apparently they want their food dish filled, but I only fill it in the morning and in the evening because you're supposed to be out eating bugs. Go find all those ticks we keep finding on us. But as I said, it's full size so that um, whoever buys the place can, they want to keep chickens, they can keep chickens if they want to use it as a shed. Playhouse, they have that option. I do have to say that screen door, yes, my lovely high tech top that's a tarp. That screen door has been, I think, one of the best decisions I've made putting it on the coop because. For those who remember the blog post about the coop getting built, some serious ventilation was left off, much to um, my annoyance and having the ability to leave the outside door open, yet keep the screen door shut at night so that they're still protected, but they're getting some airflow. It's been really good. You guys are not getting any scratch. Go find bugs. Seriously, there have to be something hiding under here. It's mid-November in northern New England, folks, and it is 60-something degrees out. I am wearing a jacket. I am loving it. I am not complaining at all. Uh, the children's play equipment, all the grandchildren have left. So I have to decide what to do with that. And the kennel was moved. For those who might remember, we used the house as one side of the kennel so they had a huge space to run but with winter coming we have to move it away from the house so they have no room right now we're thinking about getting a second kennel and attaching it 
Uh, the reason we did this is because that wonderful roof line dams up. Very large icicles fall down and one sheared off. The K1 tank used to be right between those two windows and one sheared off the front of the K1 tank. The EPA was nice to deal with, as was the fire department, but I'd rather not go through anything like that again. I have been hit by a pulling icicle, and as you can see, and by the way, the icicle does hurt, but as you can see, this is what happens when you have a ton of trees around. We have a carpet of leaves, and since my elbow is still not healed up correctly, and yes, I will be going to see an orthopedist at some point, um, I can't rake and since others have jobs it's hard to get the raking in but <clears throat> we had two grandchildren six and eight move in with us for six months so we are very much behind on where we want it to be right now outside we're about a month behind I mean the mini barn is still not finished it's almost finished it just needs the, the ridge at the top put on and it's done for the winter. Uh, the fencing, the goat fencing is all up. My two little overdose. Hello. Yes, I'm gonna come in there. So you're gonna need to get off the gate, you heavy thing. They did not make weight, so they're not being bred this fall. They need to be 80 pounds, and they're only about 65 to 70, depending which one. They are enjoying all the room we gave them when we redid the fencing. Anyhow, mini barn, for those who haven't seen it yet. Ah, sun, which I'm not complaining about. I just like to be able to see. Uh, DH did it Dutch door style so that we can shut the top in bad weather and still enable them to go in and out or shut the bottom if we want to work on it and they're getting in the way, which they love to do. I'm tripping over them now. We have three stalls in. This is the one that they're sharing currently because, you know, it is November in Maine, so it's a little cold and they're biting the back of my leg. <laughs> Stop it. Um, another job that needs to be done. I need to give them hay and clean and toss their stall. Refill your water. I did I just fill that? You two are thirsty little suckers, aren't you? Hi. The milking stand in progress. We still need to get it finished, but it's kind of on hold because... As I said, we're... Are you two done eating my jacket? Stop that. Um, they're not being bred, so there's not a big rush for it now. I do have someone that I normally get goat milk from who raises Nigerians and um, possibly getting a freshened Nigerian in the spring to continue getting goat milk. Our house guest is um, lactose intolerant, but for some reason she's tolerating raw goat milk. So that would be good to have on hand for her. Uh, two stalls. We just kind of threw them together. This one holds all the stuff. I don't want them to get into like their feed because they're greedy little things, aren't you? And I need to get you guys taken care of before I go in trying to do this relatively quickly because I need to go in and do an Asian orange chicken sauce and that has to marinate for several hours. I will be back in a minute ladies. Let me get you your hay. Oh, got an itch. Anyhow, as far as our vehicle woes, <sighs> Hello. Oh, the chickens, by the way, do not like the goat fencing because they used to go in that area and technically they could if they realized they could fly over it, but they haven't realized that yet. Uh, our van, which did not pass inspection and is toast, and the wonderful <laughs> camper <laughs> that I actually haven't written about yet but this is one of the reasons we need a heavy duty tow vehicle. We were gonna sell it and realize that we actually needed it for something else. No, the porch is not done yet. It's not even close to being done. 
and I'm at the point where I think I'm going to have to hire somebody to do it or do it myself, which could be very interesting. I did an experiment with a raised bed with tomatoes and cucumbers, and they did very well out front. So DH is the type who likes a nice green flat lawn, which obviously it's brown right now from all the leaves, but we have to grow food. so he's going to lose this one. He got his truck, so, or at least we think he got his truck. Ladies, hey, Roadrunner, move. So, I'm going to have to uh, use the front yard, whether he likes it or not, to grow food, because those of you who read the blog know that my daughter is allergic to soy, and I am MSG sensitive, which means I can't have any processed pre-glutamates. I'm filming the ground because the sun is blaring right at me, and I don't want to blind everybody. But anyhow, that's pretty much it so far. Oh, other than the turkey hut, we did throw a tarp up because the wind was cutting in on that side, and it was really cold. So, but as you can see, they're empty. It's empty. They are in the freezer. So for once, my daughter and I may actually get a Thanksgiving turkey. And, hello, Missy. What are you doing? You're going to get your head stuck again. Anyhow, uh, we're looking at chocolates next year instead of bourbon reds, which is what we raised this year. And my 18-year-old son would like to actually breed them. So we'll see how that goes. It could be interesting. But we need to take the tarp down before the snow hits and enjoy our last nice warm day because it's supposed to drop to the 20s at night and 40s during the day in the next week. Hi. So that's it. Oh, I did get a new neighbor. Ah, don't fight me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, she uh, loves farm animals and has been known to pick up one of my chickens and pet it or carry it around with her. And they get into her yard, so I keep her supplied with some eggs. Free eggs as a uh, thank you for putting up with them. Does that taste good? Uh, do you need minerals? I'm gonna guess you need minerals, along with hay. I need to go fill your hay. But anyhow, that's it. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde, also known as the Husky and Mutt, Malin Moth Pitbull Mix, whatever she is, and the boxer are inside. They were outside, but they were freaking out over the chickens, so I had to put them in the house. We cannot leave them with the chickens, especially the husky, because he will throw himself at the kennel gate trying to get to them. So anyhow, that's it. Hopefully, if it doesn't snow soon, I can finish getting the yard cleaned up for winter. As I said, I think I said we're a month behind on it, and we are eight months behind on the camper because the boys moved in with us, and seriously, yeah, I'd rather play with the grandchildren than deal with yard work. But anyhow, hopefully I can get the videos that YouTube messed up back over to where they belong, and this is a little update, and we'll see you later.